Hello, this is Thriving Dev, and today I would like to showcase a new feature which was released with version 0.7 of the library Kafka Streams Cassandra State Store. Everything will also be covered in a blog post, part 2, on the topic of interactive queries. You will find the link in the video's description. The new feature which was shipped consists of two parts. First is an optimized, efficient, extra implementation of read-only key value store interface for interactive queries. In particular, for a partitioned type Cassandra key value stores, and it's provided via the Cassandra state store static methods. And secondly, a new example, partition store REST API that is using the new Cassandra partitioned read-only key value store class. And the example features a REST API with endpoints for all interactive query methods. And this example I will demo in a minute. Before we start, let me briefly explain the new feature that all queries can be fulfilled directly from the local instance by directly querying Cassandra. So there's no more need for any remote store access. To get hold of this new class, as mentioned before, you need to use Cassandra state store static method, read only partition key value store, more details directly in the Java doc of the method. Two final remarks. First, same as with uh, the, the regular way of using interactive queries, it's only possible to construct this class while the Streams app is in running state. Though for, for this Cassandra partition read-only key value store, it actually can and also should be reused. And second, um, it's required to configure the application server config. It's not used for RPC, but it's required to be able to access the streams metadata, which is needed to determine the number of partitions. And that's all. Let's move on to the demo. You can find the source code to the example in the library's repo under the examples folder. And as always, instructions are in the readme file and the example comes with a Docker Compose stack. So I will just bring that up while explaining the example. As you can see, it comes with a Kafka broker, a Scylla node, and some bootstrapping for the key space and topic. The topology is a simple K table materialized as a state store. And um, as sample data, we will just send in all of the EU member states. Okay. Let's copy the sample data. Head to IntelliJ. Send the data in. Our Stack should be running. Here we have our Kafka and Scylla containers running. And we are fully set to now run the app and play with our API. Let me start the application. It should be ready in a few seconds. Okay, now all running. First thing we can see is I have enabled the request logger. So all of the queries against Cassandra are all locked. And we can here see selects and inserts. That's the K table being filled up. Now let's head over and execute some request against the API. 
So if we do a get by key for Italy, we, we get Italy. And if we do for Austria, we get Austria back. And what we can see when we look at the logs is that we, we have a single query executed each time against uh, Cassandra, where we do a full primary key lookup, providing a partition and key. And the partition is automatically determined for the key requested. We can uh, also get all of our state. We can do a range lookup or in reverse order. And prefix scan, starting with L or all countries with A. And the approximate num entries, which reflect our 27 EU member states. Now, one detail I want to highlight, interactive queries that return a single entry or result, that being the get by key or approximate num of entries, they run each run a single query against Cassandra to get the, the result we, we need. And if we run one of the queries with returning zero to many results, then um, we can see that the library automatically executes one query against Cassandra for each partition. And then we iterate and merge and combine all of the data in the right order. All of the data can be accessed directly from that local instance, no matter the assignment. Okay, one last look at our demo code. Everything is in a simple a single class. We have um, streams config where we set the application server config to be able to access metadata. Then we create our stream, just a okay, stream source from the input topic turned into a materialized table as a Cassandra store partitioned key value store. And then we have our endpoints. And here we have a lazy init of our new um, store, which we get from this static method read only partition key value store the parameters uh, explained in the Java docs. This concludes today's demo. Thanks for watching. If you would like to support my project Thriving Dev, please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share this video with your friends and colleagues, and follow me on Twitter. The next video planned is implementing version key value stores the new feature delivered by Kafka 3.5. So please tune in and see you next time. Goodbye.